Yo, what is going on, everyone in the crypto space? Uh, thank you for tuning in today's video. Really do appreciate it. Uh, now, for about the last day and a half, I have been completely like away from technology. Uh, you know, up in the mountains, no service, uh, nothing out there. So I was pretty much forced to kind of take a break from cryptocurrency for about a day and a half. And you know, I really do kind of, uh, I really do recommend sometimes kind of taking a couple days away from crypto because sometimes it can get a little frustrating. You know, your mind can get clouded. You're not really, you know as interested as you would be but then when you kind of take a break and come back it's kind of fresh again and you know it's much more enjoyable after taking that break so anyways uh, I come back today and I start seeing online that Corey Johnson recently had an interview uh, with Breaker Mag and actually revealed some very interesting info that pretty much suggests that they've been in very engaging discussions with the White House and I don't know if it's specifically said in Trump administration you know, this the Daily Hodel, they say Trump administration. I think they're trying to maybe do that to like kind of get a little more clicks or something. But basically, in the interview, it says they are very, very engaged with with the White House. Not just like, not just America, though. Like, they're pretty much, Ripple has a whole dedicated team just to talking with regulators. So, in the recent interview with Corey Johnson, he does make a couple of good of good quotes here. I'm gonna go ahead and go through this article because this one's like really long, uh, but this one kind of highlights all the important parts. But yeah, you can see right here, it's you know they've got the real source. Because when I first saw this, I almost doubted it. I'm like, okay, this sounds like too good to be true. I think it might be clickbait, but no, they do have the real source uh, from the ba Breaker Mag who did meet with Corey Johnson. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read it through this article. So. Listen to this, and I love how they're not just pitching XRP, but they're giving the White House reasons why, like, they literally should not be backing uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum because of the foreign control and, and, and the environmental uh, impact it has. So it says there's clearly a lot of homework going on. So the, so the regulators are actually doing a lot more research than we think we do. Uh, the White House in particular seems to be thinking about what it means to have 80% of Bitcoin mining taking place in China and a majority of Ethereum mining taking place in China. And then he says, when you look at XRP, there is no mining. So from a foreign control aspect or from an environmental aspect, XRP is a very different beast. And in conversations we've had with the administration, they seem to get that and think that might really matter. So they're really pitching, not just Ripple technology, but XRP essentially to the White House. And I love how when they're they're not just pitching XRP, but they're giving the reasons why it's so much better. They're not just saying, oh, hey, we have a crypto. They're saying, hey, we got a cryptocurrency. There's no foreign control. It's completely decentralized. Uh, it's completely environmental friendly. I think something like the XRP ledger, it takes about the same power as like a single like modern house. So it's really not much power compared to the Bitcoin network where literally one block can power three houses for a year. All that just for validating transactions. It's a big waste of energy. So to really get that into the minds of the power for regulators, that is a serious good play by Ripple's regulatory team. And he also says, um, but we're in regular talks throughout Washington and we meet with regulators as well as politicians. You know, recently they did have the lobbying group uh, essentially kind of pay to play, you know, get the crypto regulation moving. We've got a whole team that's devoted to doing that, not just in the U.S., but worldwide. And I love what he says right here. Our regulatory team, they jump on planes like their pants are on fire. So they are really kind of moving to engage with the regulators and show the regulators what the real good cryptocurrency is for the world. Not Bitcoin that's centralized, you know, costs so much to maintain, backlogged, um, absolutely has way too much energy going into it. And plus, guys, the United States is not going to want to use a technology where China has control at their fingertips. Imagine if big banks all around the world, they started using Bitcoin for settlement instead of XRP. China could literally at their fingertips bring it crashing down by completely shutting down Bitcoin mining, not getting transactions validated, and completely dropping the value. So the government's really not going to want to have a currency used by the whole country when it has such a mass control in a foreign country, especially a foreign country we don't have the greatest relations with. Uh, and again, kind of a fun fact I learned from someone in the XRP community is that when government officials go into China, you know, for whatever kind of reasons for meetings, uh, they get sent with temporary devices that literally get destroyed the second they get back to the United States because they do not trust China at all. So the fact that, you know, we're getting the regulators to really understand kind of red pill them on cryptocurrency, not look at all of cryptocurrency, oh, it's all bad, or it's all kind of the same, but they're telling them, look, Bitcoin, Ethereum, it's very centralized by China, and it costs way too much to maintain. XRP is a different beast. Cost, the electricity costs are so slim. And also, you know, it's, uh, it's fully decentralized, it really is. 
So the last kind of significant thing besides Ripple really engaging with the White House, not just like certain commissions like the CFTC or the SEC, but really engaging with White House regulators. I mean, can't really get better than that. So that's where I could see in the future, you know, regulation we could have really pushing behind XRP or some kind of financial executive order where they really, uh, you know, they really support, you know, blockchain innovation. And that's where XRP could really come into play. And if we talk, if we discuss enough, if Ripple gets in enough talks with governments, they're going to start forming a relationship together. And that's where we get some serious regulation that would favor XRP. So literally Ripple in talks pretty much with the White House administration. I mean, can't get better than that, guys. So the last kind of statement, uh, a little bit more off topic, but something interesting that Corey Johnson notes, you know, since I've been talking with the White House, that might have a little more insight on the SEC and the whole security fiasco. Uh, and he says, I think the question uh, that I get all the time is, when is the, is the SEC going to say something about XRP? And I think um, it's possible the answer is never. Uh, I don't know that the SEC wants to be in a position to have, a, to have to comment on every single cryptocurrency or digital assets created and issued a ruling about it. I don't know if they like what they did with Bitcoin and Ethereum. I would guess that administration, excuse me, that an administrative agency doesn't want to take on regulating an entire new part of the world when no one's asked them to do it and they're no, and no one's going to raise a budget for doing it. So it really seems like the SEC is going to stay on the sidelines and kind of leave the regulation, you know, to the White House. So thank you guys for tuning in today's video. Uh, it's really great to hear because I do know Ripple is in discussion with a lot of central banks. You know, they're working closely, not necessarily partnered, but we've got info that they're working they're working with 40 to 50 central banks across the, across the globe. But, you know, to be in discussion with one of the most powerful economies in the world's regulatory administrations and giving them the real info on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and why XRP is so much different and it's a whole different force of life, you know, it's just really great to know that. That's what gives me confidence, Ripple team. Uh, all these little breadcrumbs you get, it, it always kind of just, you know, reassures that what I'm invested in is right. I mean, they're literally in discussion with the White House. You don't see any other cryptocurrency engaging with regulators this much or having this much traction into the financial industry. That's why guys, I mean, every time I look at XRP news, I always reassure myself of my investment. I mean, it just, it just makes sense. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, check the links in the description to support the channel and turn on the post notification bell. So you never miss a video or a stream. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow's stream. I'll see you guys in the next one.